So we're back and actually it's the same day. We just finished our last video and we figured there is no time like the present to actually dive in and go through these exercises prior to my tongue tie revision. So why don't you walk through, um, Brittany, some things I can do to get myself prepared for the phrenectomy as it's called. Yes. So the first thing that I want to make sure that you're able to do, um, you know, as a myofunctional therapist, and we might be coming up closer to the camera a little bit so that we can see each other a little better, but I want to make sure that you, um, that you a know where the spot is, where I want, um, the tip of your tongue to be resting and that you're able to maintain it there. Well, we're going to try to maintain it there for 60 seconds. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to take your tongue pretend this is your tongue and you're mm-hmm. going to hit the spot for me. Mm-hmm. I want you to tap the spot 10 times and then you would hold it there. Good. And we would hold it there for 60 seconds. Okay. The next one I would take you through is seeing if you can achieve um, a skinny tongue. So making sure that the lateral borders of your tongue or the sides of your tongue are able to kind of squeeze in and get narrow. Okay. And then we want to relax the sides of our tongue. So this exercise we call fat skinny tongue. So you would go from skinny tongue to fat tongue, skinny tongue to fat tongue. Now I don't want you to move your tongue on a plane. So you're not moving your tongue in and out. Your tongue is pretty much staying stable and we're just um, relaxing it and pointing it again. So let me show you. So this is one that we would take a little more time to work on over the next week. Um, There's different, you know, tricks in our tool bag that we have that we can use. So something that I would have you start with is using a bite block to help stabilize that jaw because we don't want that jaw swinging all over the place. Mm -hmm. Uh, It just one last thing that we have to think about while we're practicing. So I would have you put this bite block in, Mm -hmm. bite bite on it. That way, again, it helps stabilize the jaw. And then you can focus more on just the, you know, the tip of the tongue. And then what I would do next, I would actually want you to work on achieving that first before we moved into what we call uh, mandibular differentiation exercises and making sure that you're able to move all these components separately. So you're able to move, you know, your tongue without your jaw moving. But first I need you to be able to achieve that nice tight skinny tongue. Um, And then that would be what we would follow up with in our next session. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got started and um, I'll be seeing you (laughs) for sure. Absolutely. (laughs) Okay. Thanks, Brittany. Thank you so much.